Hey guys, my name's Haley. Welcome back to the Disney Cupcake channel. Today I'm going to be opening the Disney Backstage subscription for May 2020. Before we get this package open, I have three announcements to share with you guys. First off, I would like to welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I'll be going live this Saturday at 2 p.m. talking about the Walt Disney World 5th Gate. I thought it would be fun to talk about what would we like in a fifth park at Walt Disney World. If Disney World were to open a fifth theme park, what would it be like and like what would I come up with? So I have been working on some of my ideas and I talked about in my last live stream being able to chat with you guys so you guys can also add ideas and rides to this possible fifth theme park. We thought it'd be fun to imagine. Obviously this isn't confirmed that they will even make a fifth theme park but if they did this is just a fun way maybe to get your mind off of some things during this time and just be creative and have fun and talk about the Disney parks and the future of the Disney parks and what we would like to see there in the future once they reopen. The third update is kind of in a few parts. If you did not know, Shanghai Disneyland will be reopening on May 11th, which is very, very exciting. Also, Shop Disney recently released on Wednesday the Country Bear Jamboree Wishables. I had no idea these were coming out, but it was a very surprise Wishable Wednesday. They did sell out and they currently are sold out, but if you're looking to pick up those items, I'll have Shop Disney links down below. Maybe check it every once in a while because sometimes they will come back in stock. Also, speaking of Shop Disney. They did release pictures of the June 2020 Minnie Mouse the Main Attraction release and it looks very very cute. It is Peter Pan themed and I hope to pick up the Tiki Room series this month which comes out on May 16th. That is all of the updates regarding Disney news that I have to share with you guys. I hope you all are having a great Thursday. Let's open up this backstage subscription. I will have all of my other backstage subscriptions linked down below if you guys would like to see some of the other series and boxes they released. Last month's was my favorite release ever. It was Galaxy's Edge themed and it was beautiful. I loved it. I loved the parks themed ones. So I'm hoping for a good series, a good set with this particular box. And I'll also have shopdisney.com linked down below. If you can still purchase this subscription, I just looked on the site recently and did not see it listed, but I'll have it linked down below just in case. Alright, so let's see what the theme is. Oh, it's Emperor's New Groove. And Emperor's New Groove, I have to be honest, is not my most favorite Disney movie. Not my top choice, but this concept art looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. Uh, it's some very, very cool sketches there from the Walt Disney Animation Studios. As I just mentioned, I probably do prefer more of the Imagineering style, like Disney Parks style merch um, from this particular backstage subscription service. But this does look really, really neat. It looks super cute. Has a bunch of the fun characters there on the tin. Nice bright red tin. This is the R8 backstage subscription. I cannot believe that. And also we got an email that the card, the coaster that I call it, that is normally in this tin was actually not put into the tin this time because of the whole coronavirus thing. Like they were trying to get these shipped out in time because of the delayed shipping and the card thing did not get put in the tin. So it looks like this. They sent us an email picture of it that we could print out. But they did not send the actual card. I mean, should see what the shirt looks like. I hope it's cool looking. I hope it's like that sketchy style. I'm always, I always have mixed feelings about the shirts because I feel like they look more like men's shirts. Let's, let's see if it's, I hope it's good. I'm kind of scared. Oh! Oh! What is this? So I gotta, I gotta back up so you guys can see here. So it's a nice gray shirt looks pretty good it has this dark gray collar and like sleeves on it which is like nice quality like good good shirt it says backstage subscription there with the Walt Disney Studios logo very very cool and here on the front like where a pocket would be it has this little embroidered section like art style artwork from the movie you guys can see how nice that embroidering is that's very very nice quality wise this might actually be the best shirt from this subscription but 
still kind of random, but it is nice and subtle, though, except for, wait for it, the back. So there we have our characters, like, the ink that they have on this, I can, like, feel it. Like, it's textured, really, really neat looking. I love this sketchy look. This is very, very interesting, because it's embroidered on one side, and the other side is just, like, this, like, sticky, like, rubbery, like, material. And then here on the bottom of the front of the shirt, it has the Disney Emperor's New Groove logo. There, you can see. So, I mean, it's subtle, but I'm confused. The things just don't seem to match sometimes, and I still think my, my favorite one is definitely last month's subscription. Now let's see what our Disney pin looks like. We've had issues with the Disney pins from this package in the past, so I'm hoping this one's good. Um, this one actually, like, makes sense. So here we have Kronk. So this is, once again, that screen printed, but it does not have that thick layer of the clear coat on top of it, so it does look a lot nicer, a lot more like a Disney pin, and it does have that nice metal framing around it, which definitely helps kind of enhance that Disney pin look, which we have been lacking in a lot of the other subscription boxes from the Backstage subscription, so I really, really like that. I also like this paint-filled area there, kind of with the devil version of him and the angel version of him there in the photo. So I actually think this one makes sense more to the movie than the past pins that I've received, so I definitely like this one a lot better. I, once again, I still think last month's was the best pin that we've ever received. It looks most like a true Disney pin, but this is definitely a step there in the correct direction. Here on the back, we have the Backstage subscription logo, Disney logo, and official pin training logo, and there it has one pin back, all nice and metal. So there is a lot of Disney stuff coming to this channel in the next few weeks. So thank you all so much for your support. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!